How's it going? Today I'm going to talk to you guys about first thing you should automate in your manufacturing facility. This is not super simple and straightforward because it really takes coming up with a plan and strategizing on that plan and then executing on that plan, right? And so when I say come up with a plan, what do I mean? First, we have to identify why are you looking to automate? Is there some particular pain point that you're having within your company right now where you're either struggling to get product out, you're struggling to maintain employees, you're looking just to invest and grow your company, you're looking to become more cost effective in the product that you are outputting, and you're looking for automation to be the solution to that. So by thinking about those things and devising a plan, understanding what it is that your pain points are and why you're looking to automate will help make a decision. And also there may be reasons to automate that you're not even thinking about automating right now. You know, a lot of customers that we talk to, they actually come to us and say, you know, we're not really sure what to automate, but we just know we need to do it. So the first thing I would task you with is try to identify why you're thinking to automate. And, and if you don't know why you need to automate, then start thinking about some pain points within your company. Or are you looking to just simply invest, right? So the easiest thing to look at is if, if it's a pain point reasoning, right? or you know, if you're looking to just be competitive. By identifying those things, you'll start to understand what is the root cause, what is the root reasoning, why would I automate? And you may identify something like we've seen back in the 2020, 2021 era where people were really struggling to get employees, there's nobody that was wanting to come to work, and it's still a little bit like that today, but it's not as bad at least from the, what I've seen. But let's say that's still the case. You're struggling to get employees in, employees that want to stay, and this is your main issue. One of the things that logically makes the most sense is to target areas that have the most employees. Now, a lot of these things go hand in hand and they will kind of work alongside of one another, but there are instances that are very different, and I'll give you an example of that here in a minute. So by automating the task that is the most labor intensive, you'll then be able to develop a system that is able to eliminate the need for the most amount of workers. Where a strategy may not necessarily go with that is if you're looking to automate for more of an investment and that more of that competitive edge in your business. And why is that different? Because what I would have you do if you're looking for an investment in your business is look at what is gonna get you the highest ROI, AKA return on investment. And if you're the business owner, you probably already know what ROI is. 